Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm so thrilled that you are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here giving a presentation for Learn World Summit 2021, and this is actually the World of Learning Summit. I'm very excited to be here. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about the proven insider money making secrets to launch anything authentically and with integrity. Um, I also, I want to share with you, I am not a professional speaker. I love to speak and I speak a ton of times, but I'm not your typical speaker. So, you know, all the experts told me, oh, Shannon, you have to tell a story. You have to, there's no way in the short time you have here, you can actually give people something that they'll take away. Well, guess what? I totally disagree with them. I usually disagree with a lot of people because I want to do it the way I want to do it. And what, and what I want to do is I want to be real. I want to be raw. I'm, I'm going to share with you stuff. I may stumble over my words. I may forget some stuff, but you know what? I'm going to be authentic. I'm going to be real and it's going to be fun. And you know what my goal is? My goal is for you to take the most value and information. I want you to take what I'm going to teach you today and I want you to use it. That is my goal. So if you want a polished professional speaker, you might want to stop now and go see someone else because this is just going to be me and all of my amazing or not so amazing glory. All right, you ready? You ready to get on this journey with me? And one more thing before we get started, I'm probably going to talk fast. Like I said, I may some of my words, don't worry about it. I will finish. Um, and I just want you to, I'm asking for forgiveness now. And if anything, maybe we'll have some fun together. All right. Ready? Okay. Let's go. All right. Right. So you're here watching this. Maybe you have some fr frustrations like I did when I first started out 15 years ago online. You know, you have your course, it's already done, or maybe you're still thinking about doing it. What, wherever you are, the, the thing is, when you go out and look for information on how to launch it, how to market this course, there's a crap ton of stuff out there on how to do it. Um, and the other challenge you might be facing is there's so many other people that have similar courses to yours. How in the world do you get noticed with all the noise out there, right? Um, and also maybe you've already launched your course and maybe you were just really disappointed with not, you didn't make a lot of money. Um, and another thing is you might be frustrated because you try to launch it and you didn't have a proven system or what you did. You just felt like, ah, there's just too much information. Oh my God. Anyway, I hear you. I feel for you. And guess what? I'm going to help you. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right, so what I'm going to share with you today is a proven system. I call it the seven-step soulful marketing system. I'm just going to give you the steps today. This is actually part of a bigger program that I sell, but I'm giving you the core framework because it's really the framework that's going to help propel you forward. What you need to know is the things that I'm going to share with you today, they're not unique. Like you've heard them before, but what's unique is my spin and my experience on them. And what else is unique is the order in which I'm going to teach you these seven things. So at the end of our time together, the goal is for you to take and implement these seven things. And when you're done, you will have your launch plan. Okay. That's my goal for you. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you some secret sauces that I've created along the way. I'm gonna share with you how to price your course. I'm also gonna hopefully, everything I share with you today is gonna help you let go of your overwhelm and so you don't waste any time, money, or resources. Oh my gosh, okay. So, next. See, we're already having problems. All right, sorry. <laughs> Me. Oh my God, me. All right. So why in the world were you, would you want to listen to someone like me, Shannon McCaffrey? Well, let me tell you what. Um, I have, I was in corporate America for about 15 years and here's what happened. Remember the year 2000? Remember that year is filled with like wonderment and also kind of scary because like, are all the computers going to break because now we're leaving the 1990s and we're going to 2000? Well, it was supposed to be a year of pretty amazing things and it, it turned out for me to be pretty crappy. It was like probably the worst year of my life. What happened was I was ending a 10-year marriage. 
I ended up being in a job where they laid me off. I, so then I had no work. Then I was renting a house because I had left my husband and the house I was renting, they were going to sell it. So now I was going to be losing my place to live, but then I had no job, you know, and then I had a best friend and she and I had a falling out because I, at that moment was figuring out my sexuality. I'm not going to go into detail because that's a whole nother conversation. But what I want you to know is I was in such anguish in that year because all these things things were happening. And thank God I had a three month severance because what I ended up doing is I ended up because I had an amazing coach, amazing therapist, thank gosh. And I ended up taking a trip, a 14 day trip to Peru. And seriously, it was called Magical Journey. And it really was. I was able to meditate. I was able to pray. I was able to go to these amazing places like Machu Picchu, where I was at the top of Machu Picchu and a shaman. It was at night and the shaman was doing his thing. And I remember sitting there thinking to myself that, you know what? When I get through this, not if, when I get through this and get to the other side, I want to help people just like me. Because on this trip, I had so many healers that helped me, Reiki masters, Jin Shen Jitsu are people. I had so many people that wanted to help me and help me heal that I vowed that's what I want to do. So my mission in this world today is working with people on the health, wellness, healing, personal development, and coaches. And I want to help a million of them because then I want to help them help hundreds of thousands of people because we are all here on this planet. It is my belief that we are here to make an impact, to help transform people and to help them heal. And you can have a, a mathematics course you're teaching. You could have a Facebook ads course you're teaching. I don't care what subject matter you're, you're teaching. You have a voice. You have a mission. You need to get it out there. All right. And that's what I want to help you do. So here's a couple of people that I've worked with. I've worked with a lot of important, amazing people. And the only thing I'm going to say, I'm not saying this to impress you. I'm just saying, I know what I'm talking about. I love what I do. I love my clients. So without that, let's just keep moving on. All right. And here's one important thing. What I, what I do and why I do what I do. Okay. I love my dogs. I am a dog lover. I used to be a dog trainer. I give to the best friends network. I love that. I have an amazing spouse. We got married two years ago. We go hiking in Sedona. We love it. But one of the things, again, I said, I'm totally dedicated to helping people just like you. Okay. That's what I'm dedicated. All right. Now let's get to the teaching part. Okay. I know you're ready. I'm ready. All right. So here, this is my seven step soulful marketing and launch blueprint. All right. This is the system right here. Here are the seven steps. And please don't worry at the end, stay to the end with me, please. I will give you all these slides. So you don't have to take mad copious notes. You can, if you want to, but I'm going to give you the slides. And so you'll have the slide, but these are the seven steps I'm going to walk you through. And these steps have actually earned my clients over $15 million. Okay. And what I didn't say is this system was developed because my one-on-one -on -one clients who pay me $5,000 for a whole day session with me to plan out their whole launch. That's what these steps are. And that's what they came from. So that's why they are proven. Okay. Step zero. What is your mission? What is your why? I kind of briefly talked about that already, but here's the thing. Every successful company has a mission, right? And they know why they're in business. Do you? What, and Because the big thing, why? Why are you doing what you do? Get in touch with that inner soul. That's why this is a soulful marketing system. I want you to get in touch with that big reason. Like I told you, my reason of why I'm doing it What's your big reason? How do you want to transform people? How do you want to help people? Very, very important. This is going to drive your courses. This is going to drive your business. It's going to drive everything. It's going to in your life. Okay, cool. Step one, define your dream client and customer. What I'm talking about here, I'm not talking about just a demographic. Okay. Yeah. You know, we have to know how old they are. We have to know if they're men, women, if they're both, if they're kids, we have to know that information. What's really more important than that is we have to go deeper. We have to say, what's their biggest fear and our frustration? We also have to say, what is keeping them awake at night? What do they want to achieve and what do they desire? 
So if you're up for it, here's an exercise for you. I want you to talk to 15 potential customers or clients over the next 15 days. So basically, and you can do it actually sooner. You want to do five, five people a day, however you want to do it. Talk to people and ask them these questions. Don't worry, I'm going to give them to you again. Or you could do a survey. To, maybe you have a list of people. Do a survey to your list. Or maybe you have a Facebook group. Or maybe you belong on your Facebook page. Ask questions. Find out. You want to get to the heart of people's emotions and what their problems are and what their challenges are so you can figure out how your thing, your course, your business is going to solve that problem for them. Again, when you do this exercise, I want you to write down all the emotional hot buttons that you hear. So here are the questions again. I'm not going to repeat them. You can see them right here on the screen. Very important. Okay. Now we're going to go on to the next step. Step two, clarify your course. Step one is very important because what I would recommend, don't make your course until you do your step one, because the course is going to revolve around and verify what is the transformation for these people? What is the, what is the goal of this course? What do you want your folks to be and do and have at the end of your course? And another question to ask yourself is how unique is your course. The more unique your course is, the more easier it will be to sell. All right. Step three. Step three is very important. This is where you create your juicy offer. Now, if you don't know what an offer is, an offer is something in addition to your course. Yes, your course is part of your offer. It's not the whole thing. Okay. Your, what your offer is needs to be unique. That offer also has to help them achieve their desired transformation. So it's not just your course. The other things that make up your offer are your guarantee. I'd always recommend everyone have a guarantee, make it a 30 day guarantee. I also recommend that you have three bonuses. Okay. So those things all make up your offer. Additional things you can add would be maybe you do live coaching to your course. Maybe you do a Q and a, maybe you create some sheets or, or some checklists, etc. that you give an addition to your course. And those are bonuses. I'm going to tell you more in a minute, but an action item for you that would be really helpful is research similar courses out there and go find out what they're offering and see what they're lacking. And then you create it for your offer. All right. Case study really quick. I mentioned before in my, my previous slide about all the people I work with. I did work with Jeff Walker. He's an amazing guy. He has a great program called the product launch formula. If ever you've taken it, I would recommend it. I took it. Great program. It's really big and there's a lot in there. So what I did again, I have seven steps that I'm walking you through. These steps will help prepare you to launch. His course gives you a lot more nuts and bolts if that's what you want. But one of the things I wanted, the reason why I'm bringing him up when it talks when I'm talking about offer is because in his offer, when he was creating the product launch formula, one of the biggest um, objections people had was they don't have a list. So as a bonus, he created, Hey, here's how you can build your list. So this is really big. So if you have a bonus, one, one bonus or two of your bonuses could be an objection people have to investing in your course. Okay. So again, pay attention to the homework you did from step one. This will greatly help in this step, step three in creating your offer. All right. I wanted to give you a couple examples. I don't have a lot of time to go through these. I'm so sorry. This was a, a launch I did with Dr. Perlmutter on an Alzheimer's course. We had three offers. Basically the core was we had an electronic course we offered. That was one. Then we had an electronic and print course, which is another. And then we had a third, which was the electronic, the print and all these bonuses and the bonuses that we created. They were again, to answer objections people had to buying and investing in this course. Okay. Don't worry. Like I said, you're going to get these slides. Here's another offer. This is mine for where this course came from. This is my seven step soulful marketing and launch system. The first, the top part is all the things I offer in the system. The bottom part are all the bonuses that I created in order to help solve and take away some of the objections of why people would want to invest in this course. And then here's another one. This is one I'm actually just building right now. So you guys are getting the insider secrets here. Um, and so this was a core offer I'm creating. I'm launching something called the Marketing and Launch Accelerator. It's going to be a combination coaching group and teaching for people that want to learn how to create courses 
and want to learn how to launch them. So here's sort of what how we sort of figured out our offer. And then you can check out some of the bonuses that we created. Um, that's just really to give you a flavor for how to create your offer. Step four is you have to determine their investment. This is really key. It's not a cost to them. So don't think about any, any of your courses. They're not costs. It's an investment. When you're selling something like a course, they're, the people that are going to buy it, they're investing in themselves and they're investing in you. So it's not a cost. So in your copy, when you're writing, it's an investment. Okay, cool. All right. The other thing too, is when you are figuring out your price, you need to look at your whole offer, right? You got to look at what are your bonuses? You have to look at, all right, are there any hard costs that went into creating this? All these things go into determining what it is their investment's going to be, what, how much you're going to charge for this course. Again, doing your research and finding out similar courses and products and services will really help you on this one. Um, and again, your price should reflect your whole offer, including your bonuses. All right, moving on to step five, mapping out your marketing path. All right, what in the world do I mean by that? Okay, what I'm calling a marketing path is how you're going to get the word out about your course. There is a ton of ways to do it. I use a pricing structure. This pricing structure is included in my course. I'm going to give, give it to you really basically. Basically, if you have something that costs zero to about a hundred bucks, you can pretty much sell it from an ad or pretty much sell it right from an ad to a sales page to get people to buy it. If you have anything over a hundred dollars, and this is all based on my experience, so you need to test this yourself. And a lot of people won't say that. This isn't proven. This is my experience with my audience and my people. Um, is that if you have something over a hundred dollars, from a hundred dollars to about twenty five hundred, you can sell it in one of these four ways. I'm not going to mention these four ways. You can see them on the screen. These are all four ways that you can do your launch. And if it's over twenty five hundred dollars, I would highly recommend doing a, one of these ways, but then getting them on a phone call. Okay, because in order to sell something that's twenty five hundred dollars or more, especially if it's cold, if you're doing it from cold traffic, that's another thing to keep in mind: is your traffic, are your people hot, warm, or cold? So if it's cold traffic, you really need to get them on a phone call. All right. So another thing to think about, depending on what path you pick, if you're, you got to look at what your skills are. Are you good at video? Do you suck at video? I'm okay at video, not my favorite. I like to write. I like to write sales letters. That's how I want to do it. I can still make it work. Don't let anybody else tell you you have to do video yeah it does increase conversions but guess what i have tons of people who are making money just from sending out emails so don't worry about that go with your skill because whatever skill you have and whatever you feel comfortable with that's what you're going to excel at okay and also looking at your budget how much money you have to invest in one of these four ways or another way that you want to choose okay Step six, you need to craft your compelling message. Now, what do I mean? Message. What I'm talking about is when you do your homework from step one, which is finding out your audience and getting their emotional hot buttons, you're going to create some core messages that you're going to use throughout the whole launch of your course. These core messages are going to be really important and it's critical. You're, and what another thing that goes into crafting your compelling message, it's also all about your copy. What you need to answer when you do your copy on your, on your landing pages, on your sales pages, on your emails, on your ads. You need to answer the question, why inf invest in this course over anything else out there or not doing anything at all? Okay, cool. Next one. This is the last step. Rally your raving fans. What are raving fans? Raving fans are testimonials, okay? But don't call them testimonials. Promise me that. Testimonials are just an industry term. If you, this, this, the screenshot here, this is a screenshot from my page. I call my people, my testimonials, shout outs. All right. Another thing that's really important is your raving fans is another word for me. I love social, saying social proof because social proof is bigger than just testimonials. It's maybe awards that you've received. It's maybe client logos or photos. So you can see these screenshots here. I have the client logos that I work with at the bottom. I also have some screenshots of people that I work with in the middle. And it's also can be endorsements or maybe you have some really good PR and been on some television if that so you can have a little area where instead of my thing where I say some of my soulful marketing clients and previous clients, you can say as seen on and have logos of where you have been seen on. All right, cool. That is the seven steps. Whew. Okay. Let's take a breath. Okay. All right. 
Hopefully you guys got a lot out of that. I'm not done yet. I got a few more things to say. Um, social proof. I'm going to read this. I know it's painful, but I'm going to read it because this is really important for social proof. And the reason why I'm harping on this is because a lot of people, this gets lost. They think, oh yeah, it's just testimonials. Well, guess what? The key here is what others say about you is a thousand times more persuasive than what you would ever say about yourself. And even if you're a thousand times more articulate or eloquent, all right? So it's the most underused, powerful selling tool is social proof. Okay. Now you've got your plan. You've run through your seven steps. Now what? The core for you is in your marketing and your launch. Three things, huge. And I've already harped on them, but I'm going to harp on them again. This is something that Dan Kennedy talks about. Love Dan Kennedy. Work with him. You have to have, in order for something to be successful, you have to have the right message, going to the right market, AKA dream client, dream customers, using the right media, AKA social media. Maybe you have, you do something in print. Maybe you're gonna do something in mail. So these three things make up results. If you don't sell and you're having challenges, it's because one or more of these things is off. That's why it's really important to do my seven steps in that order. Cause that right message has to go to the right market and you have to use the right media. Let's say you're going after people that are in their 70s. Well, Facebook might be interesting, but you know what? Direct mail and maybe radio stations, AM radio stations might be even better. So that's what I'm talking about here. Okay. Um, lastly, when you're launching, I need you to know this. It doesn't require a unique talent to launch. All right. What it requires is a proven formula. Here is one of my maps. This is a really cool map. It's a list building map. It'll help you build your list of hot prospects. It'll help you plan out what you need to do to build your list and then to launch your product. So once you have a proven formula, you can pretty much hit the go button, okay? And here's the good news for you. And we are almost done. What I have for you is I have my best launch maps. I'm gonna give you three and absolutely free. And I'm so sorry if I sound like a used car salesman. That's not my intention here. That's not me, but I'm just so excited about being here and helping you. Um, but if you want my launch maps, totally free, just go to freelaunchmaps.com. You can get them. And if you want the slides, just go to freelaunchslides.com. And the other thing I want to tell you is yes, there is an opt-in, meaning I want you to give me your email address in order to access this. And the reason why is because I would love to stay in touch with you. And I promise you, you're not going to get any spam. I'm not going to do that. I have a, a weekly email that I send out to my list and I'd love you to get on it. And listen, if you just want to get my maps and don't want to be on my list, totally opt out. It's totally up to you. It's, you know what? This is for you. The whole thing is a benefit for you. So again, freelaunchmaps.com to get the maps, freelaunchslides.com to get the slides. I hope that was pretty easy. And certainly if you're interested in what I have to offer, if you're interested in my system, or if you just want to say, Hey, I would love to connect with you. I'd love to see how I can support you in your business. And it's Shannon at soulfulmarketing.com. Please give me a shout. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you thought of this presentation. And here's the thing, even if you don't want or don't get any or downloads or don't want to be on my list, here's what I want you to do. Maybe I'm not your cup of tea. Maybe there's another type of expert who can help you. But what I want you to do is don't get lost in that. You have a message. You have a, you have a unique talent that needs to be out in the world. Whether it's me or someone else, just promise me you will do it. Okay. I appreciate you. Thrilled that you're here. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.